Hey FlossTube, I'm Kenny and this is my channel Kenny Stitches. I'm also Kenny Stitches on Instagram. Um, it's been a minute, it's probably been two months since my last video, but um, I'm back and I have all my mania starts and a couple finishes and some haul to show you. So let's just jump on into the haul. Um, my first piece, I got a little um, notions bag from Garon Toten in one of their weekend sales. Um, then I got my April Garon bag of the month. With the blue dragonflies on the inside. Then my May bag of the month. Then my June, June, July bag of the month should be here Friday, so looking forward to that. Um, I got these two little pumpkin kits from Mill Hill. I'll probably get the other four. Is there four? Two or four to go with them, but these two are the two I had to have right now. I got some needle minders from True North Needle Minders on Facebook. Some Baby Yoda's Alice in Wonderland and Forky. This is Quaker Handwork from With Thy Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais. I thought this was really pretty and had to have it. Then Quaker Welcome by Lila's Studio. Last week I got Water Reads by Nora Corbett, one of the um, Pond Pixies. I have her beads too. I can't remember if I showed her, but I got Sakura from Autumn Lane Citry, the model that I stitched. Then um, my friend Michelle um, Bendy Sitchy, she sent me the We're All Mad Here plant. Um, I was talking to her on Instagram and I was telling her that, oh, I thought I picked it up at market and when I got home, I didn't have it and she sent it to me for nothing and it went into my mania start. So it is actually a finish that I'll show you here in a little bit. Um, I got the Summer Alphabet from Lizzie Kate. I got it on Stash Unload. Then I got the big fifth anniversary Bella Filipina chart. She needs a fat half that I don't have, and she needs like 75 DMC and several Krennic and Water Lilies, so she'll be kitted slowly over time. And I got this um, kit. It's a Russian kit. I got it from Charting Creations in Canada. She also sent me the Bella Filipina chart. Um, I don't know if I'll stitch. I think it has Ada in it. I'll probably switch it for a light hand eyed, but I love this, this reindeer. And then another stash on load find, a steel. Um, Roadster Santa, a dimensions kit that's, I guess, really out of print and really sought after. I got a really good deal on it. Um, I'll probably start this maybe for Jolly in July. I don't know, we'll see. Then my friend Elaine on Facebook, um, I reached out in a cross stitch search group for this um, buttons and bears chart or kit that I, my friend Debbie, Mama Bear Citry and me are supposed to start together, but um, We'll see when that happens. Then I got to go on the um, Buttons and Bears, these two cute like retro teddy bear needle minders. These came from Mabel's Magnets on Etsy. Um, she's a shop in the UK. Um, I ordered them and they shipped. I had them in like 10 days or something like that. Um, and I got I love the Tiger King. I'm obsessed with the Tiger King. Um, I got 
These are from Needle Attractions. Uh, hard to see. And then just these two, like a Plague Child and Not Today Stitch. <laughs> Then I got fabric, lots of fabric. This was a stash on load piece. It's um, Confetti Belfast from Picture This Plus. I think, I think I'm gonna put the new Mirabilia Miss Dancing Flowers on it. That's my plan right now. I'm probably gonna go get her floss tomorrow. Then Lori at Seraphim Fabrics, she had, um, a bunch of mist dyes and discounts and um, different fabrics that she was just unloading in her Facebook group. So I probably got five different packages from her. This is a 40 count, no name. I'm thinking maybe I'll put Pandemic on this, the long dog sampler they gave away for free. I'll need to decide on a floss color first, but that's a contender for that. Then this is another no name, 32 count linen, really pretty pinks and purples and greens. Another no name Lori, Seraphim fabric. This is a really pretty opal 32 count blue linen. I don't know what's going to go on that, but I had to snatch it up. Then this is a 28 count Opal Lugana from Seraphim. It is Carnival Cruise Bold. Oh, I love that too. I have a couple more pieces of haul, but they went straight into my mania pile. So um, when I show those, I'll point those out. I did have two finishes since my last video. I actually had three, but one's a, like a baby sampler that is getting framed for a friend of mine. So uh, my first one, and I might've showed this in my last video, but I don't remember. Um, this is Spring Deer by Barbara Anna, and it's stitched on opal linen, as you wish, from Under the Sea Fabrics, 32 count. And then, this was a mania start, the piece from Michelle that she sent me, the We're All Mad plant. This is stitched on April Showers, 28 count Jobelin from Fiberlicious. I changed um, the stems and the cup color because with everything going on I didn't have those two colors and Joann's and Hobby Lobby were closed so I just swapped them to something close to what I had. These were some whips that I worked on uh, outside of Mania. Um, a couple of my friends decided they wanted to start Renaissance Mermaid by Mirabilia I actually started her in December and had like 30 stitches in it, but I pulled her out when they started theirs and I put some more work into that fin. This is stitched on 32 count Opal Olympus from Under the Sea Fabrics. And then post mania, I pulled out the Halloween Quaker from Lila's studio. I'm stitching this on, it's Jamie's Kilt, 32 count linen, opal linen from uh, Fabrics by Stephanie. And I'm doing my own DMC conversion, so I love this. And I'll probably get back to this soon. And then the last non-mania whip I worked on was, um, the Zuka pumpkin, 
by Alessandra Adelaide. This orange is Sweet Potato from Coloring Cotton. And I don't know what the green is, but it's also a Coloring Cotton thread. Um, my friend Leslie, the owner of Under the Sea Fabrics, excuse me, when we went to the Tiara Retreat in Southern Indiana last year, she showed me those threads and she's talked me into buying them for that pattern. So that was really worked out. So, okay. So now we'll get into my mania starts. Um, I know I posted several in my last video. Some of them fell by the wayside. Others were added. Um, and some of the starts, I started them and they just kind of, I wasn't feeling them. So they don't have a lot done, but um, you have that. I was so burnt out by the end of Mania. So I was ready to get back to just working on some, some of those projects I started. Um, my first one, and these aren't in the order I started them, but this is a small start on Lilith of Labrador. Um, this is on 32 count lapis linen from Under the Sea Fabrics. Then I started, that's Carol Baskins. <laughs> That's um, the Tiger King pattern by Good Morning Maui. Needle minders are from Gina's Unique Boutique. And this is on 32 count Polywog Princess from Fabrics by Stephanie. This is Floral Alphabet by JBW Designs. This is on Keown, oh no, Icicle, 30, or 28 count Jobelin from Under the Sea Fabrics. I have the L and the M completed. And that's using the DMC Chloris 4051. This is one of the starts that I started, thought I was gonna love it, got a little bit into it and decided, meh. But this is Long Dog Sampler, Tyler's Lion. And I'm stitching it on 46 count Mood Ring from Color and Cotton using DMC 954, 963. It's a bright green. Pretty accurate right there. I just started the top corner and kind of that was one of my later starts where I was just almost over it. So this is with Thy Needle 2. Sorry for the glare by Lila's Studio. Just a small, small little start. This is on Autumn 40 Count Opal Linen from Under the Sea Fabrics. This is Quaker Seasons of Friendship. Carla Rolodex Stitcher, she showed this chart in one of her videos and I had to track it down and get it. I'm stitching this on 55 count looking glass from under the sea fabrics. And that's my start right there. Let me see. This is a roller clinic for like size measure. The color is, it's a dinky dyes. I think it's called dream time, but I love this. I It's one I have to actually, I can't take it to work and stitch because it's 55 count. I need my daylight, but I want to get back to that. I started the Twin Peak Primitives um, I'll Be Home series that Pam and Steph have been talking about. 
and it's started on 28 count Jobel and Autumn over one. And I just started on the border and put it away after a day, but I'm gonna stitch the whole thing over one. I started the unicorn tapestry that everyone seemed to started, um, seemed to start by Tiny Modernist. I went outside of the turquoise and I started it on this dark purple. It's um, Hamlet Belfast from Under the Sea Fabrics. Next, this is one that I'll go back to really soon. Um, this is The Winter Geisha by Joan Elliott. And she has started, started at the very top on the moon. Um, this is 32 count Tallulah. It's a light, really light pink with purple and yellow modeling from Seraphim Fabrics. This one is when I started and just the color changes and it was a little much, but um, yeah, Enchantress of the Abyss from Bella Filipina. And she is started on, I think it goes this way. I started with her hair in the middle. That is on Gina, 32 count Belfast from Fabrics by Stephanie. started um, Buttercup by Nora Corbett. She's been in my stash, kitted, ready to go since she was released back in 2013. <laughs> Those are fireworks going off in the background. Um, got a lot of the yellow going on. This is a sugar maple fabric. They're no longer in business, but I love this fabric. It's a 32 count Lugana, I think. It's stiff, it's hand painted, so. Then I jumped in on the And a Forest Grew Sal, all the freaking trees that Jen, Spunky Jen, Stitching in the Bluegrass organized. This is my little itty bitty start up in the top corner. This is Ice Princess 40 Count Linen from Under the Sea Fabrics. Oh, that light's not helping, but. <laughs> this one was my first Mania Star, I do remember this. This is the first one. This is the Folk Art Sampler from Tiny Modernist. I did get a bit done on her, but um, this is a Kiwi Illusions fabric, a Jobelin. They're no longer in business that I know of, but I got this in a stash sale. Another chart I didn't get very far on. This is Strutton, um, a market release from Teresa Kogut. It's actually my first Teresa Kogut start. I didn't get very far, but um, I'll get back. It'll be a quick finish, I think. This is Rose Marta Jobelin from Under the Sea Fabrics. This was a piece of haul that went straight into the start pile. Of course, Princess Eliana from Mirabilia. And I started her on, this is Opal Stonewash Linen from Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, I got three pieces of stonewash is the 
April fabric of the month, I think. And my second piece is another start in the mania pile that you'll see in a moment. Another bendy stitchy. I started literary Alice. And this is on, I think it's called Regency by Pull Stitches. It's a Jobelin of Alice. Alice is done. I need to finish her frame and then move on to the rest of the characters, but I think she's so cute. Then the Fairy, Fairy Garden Collection by Shannon Christine Designs. A, a very small, pitiful start. I think it goes this goes this way. It's very small. It's um, I started in the sign in the center. Didn't get very far, but this is um, Demazel. Linen from Picture This Plus. This is probably one of the last projects I started and the one that I'm still working on avidly. This is Gaia from Bella Filipina. And this is on my second piece of stone wash from Under the Sea Fabrics. That's pretty true right there. I did her skin, her face, over one. All these branches are water lilies. My Schitt's Creek Minders, those came from Gina's Unique Boutique. Those are other haul. Um, she's much brighter. You can see the, she's kind of muted. Mm -hmm. She's kind of muted in that picture, but these are like 987, 989, DMC 15 and 472. And then there's white in there. I can't stop working on her. Um, I love everything about it so far. I'm missing some critics and they're of course on back order. So waiting on those to come in so I can finish parts of her crown. And like the rest of this crown up here is all water or critic and beads. So very sparkly. And then my last mania project. This is the Curious Mermaid from Autumn Lane Stitchery. And this is where she's at. She was one that I also went back and forth, like I couldn't quit working on her either. So those two have been just hanging out by my stitchy spot. Um, this is Oh, it's a fiberlicious fabric. I think it's called Mermaid's Grotto, but yeah, I think that's what it's called. Two more pieces of haul, my little pig in rain boots and my resting stitch face. Those came from True North Needle Minders. Um, yeah, I love this green fabric for her. And she's one that, along with Gaia, they'll probably be my next two Mania finishes, so. Those are all my Mania starts and whips. So, I will try to do a July update at the end of July, but we're gonna go on vacation um, July 31st through August 8th. Um, so, if it does, if it's not the end of July, it'll be um, after the first week of August when I come back with a video. And when that video comes, if it's after vacation, I'll have a big announcement for you guys. So um, I want to thank you guys for watching and coming back. And if this is your first time, thanks for watching. And um, if you liked it, subscribe, um, share, comment. I love your guys' comments. I always read them. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.